Hello and welcome to the Fort Report. I'm Chris Conley. I'm here at Fort Worth's Environmental Collection Center talking about hazardous waste and dangerous chemicals commonly found throughout the city. I'm with Senior Environmental Specialist David Lenardowitz. David, what are some things people need to know? I mean, I don't think of my house as being particularly hazardous, but I'm finding some stuff in the garage that probably shouldn't be there. What am I supposed to do? Well, it's really important that we bring all of our waste to the Environmental Collection Center. Uh, because this stuff ends up in the landfills and people don't realize it ends up eating through the liners on the landfills and it's better for the environment for it to come here where we can dispose of it properly than eventually getting into the water table and affecting all of our drinking water. Who gets to bring it up here? Uh, well, we take the chemical waste from any citizen of the city of Fort Worth. We also have several participating cities. We have about 50 cities that participate in our program. And if someone wants to look on the website to see if their city participates in our program, they can do that. So I've loaded this stuff in my car or truck carefully, obviously. I bring it up here. What do I do when I get here? The important thing is that you stay inside of your vehicle and you bring your water bill or your driver's license and we'll do the rest for you. We completely unload it. And uh, we do prefer that people don't bring black bags. We prefer that you put it uh, upright inside of a box and make sure that the lids are on securely and it's not gonna tip over during transport. We also ask that people put non-conductive tape on all the batteries on the positive and negative terminals whenever they bring those in as well. David, what are some typical items that folks bring up here? Well, I would say that our largest waste stream would definitely be paint. But we also take any chemical that you can buy for your household to use. We'll take automotive fluids, cooking oil, batteries, and light bulbs. We also bring in paint, lawn, garden, and pool chemicals, cleaning supplies, and medicine. What do you guys do with that stuff? Well, it depends on what it is. Uh, there's a large segment of things that we can recycle. A lot of it ends up being incinerated and then going to a secured landfill. And most importantly, when people are doing this stuff at their house, they need to be safe, right? Make sure you're wearing your personal protective equipment. You know, glasses and gloves are very, very important. Keep yourself safe. Well, David, thanks so much for uh, showing us what to do today. What are the hours when people come? We are open every Thursday and Friday from 11 to 7 and Saturdays from 9 o'clock till 3 o'clock. For more information, you can call 817-392-EASY or visit the ECC's website online. Also, if you can't make it to the ECC, there is a way to get your household hazardous waste taken care of without making the trip. The Crud Cruiser is a mobile collection trailer that travels to neighborhoods to collect leftover household chemicals. The schedule for this year's events are posted on the Crud Cruiser's website.